If I count 20 of my friends, inside that 20, Frida has slept with 18 of them at least. Hey! Wala, 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 wala. It's a bombshell. Remember the story I posted some hours ago about the business socialites? The husband we were talking about dropped a bombshell. And the comments under, mm. see, God should just blow the trumpet. This world should just come to an end. It's all about wow comments. Comment wahala. So let me read what the husband said. The husband actually spoke in Yoruba and it was translated. So I will read it. You can go on Instagram and listen for yourself. If you are not ready to love me, please don't come. Because he knew all this before accepting to marry her. As in, what is it? Let me read a bomb the man just dropped. Demola, husband to Farida Sobowale, in bracket, Frida, Nigerian lady. Who wanted to jump into the Lagos Lagoon because her husband dumped her two months after their 100 million luxurious wedding? That money is huge. 100 million. Hey! Which is single handedly sponsored, says that out of 20 of his friends, his ex wife, Farida, has allegedly slept with 18 of them, accusing her of being an ashawo and makes jaw-dropping allegations. Mm. Did you hear the amount of money that lady spent on that wedding? Single-handedly, about a hundred million naira. Only for the man to dump you, like, use and throw, after like three months. Oof. The pressure is getting worse. Hmm. I am extremely wealthy. I live in a 22-bedroom mansion. If I count 20 of my friends inside the 20, Frida has slept with 18. When I got back to Nigeria from abroad in 2009, Farida came to Lagos 2010. That same year, I took her to China Embassy with me so she can start traveling to buy and sell things from China that she's calling. It's me that she's calling a gigolo. Okay. In that same year, I told her to stop following one of my friends. She went behind my back continue to still sleep with him. Even after I warned her, she went and told my friend that I told her to stop following him. And the same friend told me that my girl is an ashawo. I told my friend to not disrespect Farida. So from this first phase, you can see that they've been together since 2010. Though they got married and three months into their marriage, everything went sour. They have been together since 2010. My brother is my neighbor and Farida used to go and stay in my brother's house. Also, one Alhaji in my area also told me he is sleeping with Farida. Uh -uh. Fari, what happened? What's doing you down there? What's itching down there? What's scratching now? But do I believe this man? Let's find out. Farida said I'm a gigolo, but I live in a 22-bedroom mansion. And my brother, and my brother's duplex is beside my house. Farida goes to my brother's house too. Farida will be in my brother's, in my brother's from morning till night. I ask her, what are you always doing there? Or do you want to still start sleeping with my brother too? 
Does it mean Farida was sleeping with a man's brother? I don't get it. Let me slap myself. Farida, were you sleeping with his brother? Mm. Let's continue. I am not a gigolo. Gigolo is, gigolo is, gigolo, gigolo, like you are after rich women. Mm -hmm. And my father is extremely wealthy. I have been flying first class since. Ask anybody in London. Now in 2015, she was in my house. In fact, it was from my house she got married to the first husband, Tunde. Ah, uh -uh. oh, they started dating in 2009, 2010, when he came back from abroad, remember? And he took Farida to the uh, China embassy so that she can start going to China to buy goods or Chinese embassy. And in 2015, Farida was staying with him. They got married to another man, Tunde. I don't, okay. In fact, it was from my house. She got married to her first husband, Tunde. That same 2015, I was doing politics. Politics runs with Dayo that I spent $2 million contesting for House of Rep. I had to step down due to the politics issue. When I first knew Farida back then, she was a poor girl. There was a time I was sleeping with Farida and Alhaji came to knock on my door. That why am I knocking his girlfriend? Farida was mourning so loud. Oh. That's what the husband said after the news break out that Farida tried to commit suicide by jumping into the mainland bridge. So Farida was staying with you in 2015. From your house, she got married to Tunde. And you were still there. You were still knocking her. It's all about the wow comments. But with this, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. If I'm to blame the man, you met this lady 2010. As you claim, you were already a big boy by then. You made her to be rich. You showed her the connections to start buying from China. And she left you to marry Tunde. And you were still with her. Then you got married now to her. I don't understand. Let's go to the wow comment. If your friends can sleep with your wife slash girlfriend, it shows the kind of person you are. He may be doing the same with his wives too. If all of your friends can be sleeping with your wife, it means you are also sleeping with your friends' wives. How can you have 20 friends and you say about 18 of them slept with your wife? Are you clean? Are you sure of yourself? Are you not doing the same thing? Birds of the same feathers, they say, that they work out together. I don't believe this though. So you, you know that she has slept with almost all your friends. You still go ahead to marry her? Question mark. With a dot under. She slept with all your friends and you still marry her. What for? Why? After three kids, we need to know Mr. Man. Her past doesn't matter because all things are passed away and everything becomes new. Mm -hmm. Show me your friends and I will tell you whom you are. I have beautiful field proof backing and breakfast receive video on my page oh okay <laughs> if you don't know anything about if you don't know of anything to pray about please just pray you don't end up with the wrong partner my sister then for you to get married to the wrong person don't get married at all this man can rubbish you even some women too, Joe. Some women will rubbish you. No cap. Forever is too long to be unhappy. Exactly. Just imagine you go to work. It's hectic. It's stressful. You come back home. 
to a, a bad marriage. A bad marriage. Hmm. Hey. You know all this, sir. It's obvious you've docu you are documenting. So why did you push through marriage with her? A decision you could have made in you could have made in how many years of knowing her you made it in two months. That's exactly what I was trying to say. You've known this lady since 2010. She left your house to marry her first husband in 2015. You are still with her. After getting married to you now, you are saying that she has slept with all your friends. You are done with the marriage. It seems as if to me it's payback. Because you knew all this. You still went ahead with the marriage. You wanted to pay her back in her own coins. In her own, in her own coins. I don't get it. Because this decision came three months into their marriage. Something you could have said before even the marriage. Like, Farida, we can't do this. This is like your third or second marriage. You already have three kids. You have been sleeping with all my friends. You slept with Ahalaji. You have been being this and that. I can no longer continue with this to save all the stress. You see, as if there was something you actually wanted. You wanted to break her wings. You wanted to crumble this lady. You wanted to push her to her untimely death. Thank God she was rescued. And now you have the nerves to be dropping voice left and right. What happened to her kids? I don't want this video to be so long, but the comments are more than 10,000 out there. Comment Wahala. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to always watch my videos. See you next time for another amazing story and the wow comments. It's all about comments, Wahala. Thank you. Bye-bye.